Klungo coming. Mistress, please beat failure, Klungo with bro Oh. Oh. I'm not gonna kink shame. Alright, y'all, welcome back. Last time we started this new game, Bottles fucking died in the first five minutes, got himself death flagged when he's like, I'm not leaving the house, you can't dupe me or whatever the fuck. And it's like, alright, there you go. And in between videos, I just took a little break, and I flew over to the waterfall cave, and I wanted to start the video once I got there, and here I am, and I paused it right here. Just in case I missed, I didn't start recording then, I just waited till I got here, so here we go. There's nothing here. And it all this fucking work. And there's nothing here. I think I'm upset. I, I can't- oh, no, 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 no. I think this thing is glitched in there. Look at that. <laughs> I always wonder those things. Where sometimes... Sometimes it's fun to be goofy. And I wonder... If I made random ass sounds like that while I was playing just... The whole time, would anyone watch? I don't know. Inside the digger tunnel. Look at these treads. I think they use some kind of machine, Kazooie. Fuck, was I supposed to go in the lair? Did I get you baited? Prepare to get your ass whooped, dude. He's so much bigger! Minion with the mission. Uh, if it isn't the bear and the bear. Who caused so much trouble to Mistress Scrunty? Hmm, I don't recall anything like that happening. These two lines of text at a time. He was stupid. At least we can speak properly. Oh, fucking got him! Klungo is mad now. Your game ends here. Oh my god, fucking... <laughs> I can't... <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Stop. Stop. Time out. Time out. <laughs> Time out, dude. Okay. Okay. When he shrinks. Clever Klungo hide behind magic shield now. Show bear my special potion. No! Run! Fucking. Got some alchemist fire. Everything is D&D. Oh shit. Okay, so I can like roll into him, but... Is he held over there? Five? Six? And then just run away? Do I have to do anything once he's there? Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Do we have two choices? Oh! I did it! Look at mom! I did it! Nasty Baron Bird hurts. Poor Klungo. Oh yeah, you're the victim. You asked for it. Why don't you run off and we'll forget this ever happened? Uh, good idea. <laughs> but you're not seen last of Klungo. Klungo coming. Mistress, please beat failure, Klungo with bro Oh. Oh. I'm not gonna kink shame. Just, just gonna let that one hang out there. <laughs> Woo. All right, we did something. I didn't think we'd have a fucking boss fight so soon. Let's do some CSI here. So you came in. What is this about? It did a three-point turn. Did it crash? Like, it came out through here. And it was like, skirt! And came back. And then hit this, and there's a bunch of rocks. And then went back out this way. Weird that it went out through a pre-made tunnel. But whatever. Is this a bottle thing? No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, after... This... 
It's time to get back to reading. I gotta read uh, a good amount today, and I still have to... I'm working on a paper. Like, it's a local government paper. And I have to find... Jinjos! What you call it? I have to find an issue. Well, I picked an issue that I wanted to tackle in my local community. It's a tax-related issue because in my city, a few years ago, we increased taxes with the purpose of hiring more police because our crime rates and shit were going up and gang violence and whatever. And uh, since then, it's been getting worse. There's just been open homicides. There have been like teenagers that are getting shot and fucking restaurant parking lots and shit. So it's really bad. <clears throat> this is one of my silos. Open up some more to create a network of shortcut tunnels. Will do. Not yet, punk. You'll need to open another silo before you can use a shortcut. Okay. I'm sorry, Dad. Yeah. And so I... You know, I picked the, the tax measure and all that, and I have the ideas. You know, and I did my presentation in class, my teacher's like, you gotta pick a law. Like, what law are you trying to change? I'm like, what? Orange Jinjo Family House. Come and see my throne room. I'll tell you what happened. I'm sorry, I can't get over his voice. I don't even know what's happening right now. Right? There's nothing. There's literally nothing. Okay. Yeah, I did my presentation. My classmates actually liked my my thing. I had a couple people compliment it. And a couple others, or no, one other person was like, yeah, I'm thinking about doing something similar. It's like, right on. Because, you know, this is a big state school, so we're all living out of the... most of us are living out of the city. So it's no, uh... no surprise. These look way smaller on the outside. Yeah, so it's no surprise there's some overlap, but that's cool. I think they're all the same, right? That's what I'm hoping. I think they want us up there. It's weird, there are no tire tracks. Where's my continuity? Oh wait, they're there. They're right there, you fucking... You ass. Yeah, so, like, I'm tackling a voter issue, you know? My teacher's like, well, where's, what's the law? I'm like, what, what is the fucking law when you make a tax change like that? I'm looking at the city ordinances to find if it, you know, where it's under, and I don't know if they just haven't been updated, but they're not there. And so, I don't know what the hell. Bottles rip. Let's go pillage his house. <laughs> Yeah, so, like, that's... I have everything I want to talk about in my paper done. And I have, uh... My outline. I know I have all my research together. I literally just have to find the the actual... Statute or ordinance in the city constitution or whatever. City charter. Or whatever it was. And I, as soon as I find that, my paper's done. And it's kind of frustrating, because I've been... I've, spent like a day looking for it already and uh, I'm digging through the city ordinances right now I found it like the list of them and I'm going like into the tax stuff but they're not there so I don't know what else I have to do but outside of that I just have to do a lot of reading once I do that we'll be done with the term we'll talk about the next term in a minute I am happy to be recording again so I just, I haven't had time because I've been so fucking busy with school. And then when I do have free time, I have to prep D&D. Hello there, Banjo. How are we today? Pretty good, Mrs. Bottles. And yourself? Oh, fine, fine. Tell her about Ghosty Boy. Keep quiet, Kazooie. What was that? Is Bottles okay? He should be back from Spiral Mountain for his dinner soon. He never misses his dinner, you know. Uh, I'm sure he'll be back soon, Mrs. Bottle, Mrs. B. Oh, Banjo. Oh, you dick. You you need to tell her. He died on your watch. You fucking left him in that house to die. 
I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna make a joke like, where his kids at? I think it's a brother. I'm assuming it's a brother. Hello, Banjo. Hi, Goggles. Since you and Daddy... Oh, wait, it is this kid! I'll give you these prototype glasses he's working on. Did he finish working on them by any chance? Oh, yes. I believe they, they're they called the Mazo Gaze glasses. How do they work? Well, in Banjo's eyes view, use right stick up and down to zoom in and out. Try to scratch my face. Not bad. Oh! Oh, fucking Binox, dude. Look at the... Calculating. <laughs> nice. Oh, man, your dad is dead. <laughs> oh, don't do this to me. We're playing this right now. Like, it, it's its own self-promo. In case you needed to see. Another game that Shuffle FM is playing. Right there, Jet Force Gemini. Link in the description. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Uh... There are more kids? Hi, Specky. Me and my dad are going to be playing in the kickball tournament next week. Over at the Mayan Stadium. Oh, okay. King Jingling has organized it especially for my dad, since he's such a hero. <laughs> I don't suppose you have any substitutes. <laughs> Why would we need substitutes? My dad is the best on the team. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I haven't even been reading. I've been too busy laughing. King Waddling? <laughs> Play with that airplane awfully hard, dude. Just the whole time in conversation. Vroom. Oh my god. This is the second person. Or second time it's been like, hey, come in there. Look at I stole a honeycomb. See that? Off the side? I stole that. And I killed that bird that just spawned in. I did that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course the teenage son has Vela with her fucking back turn pose. I see you. You know what? At least it's not some some smut. Like, uh... I don't know, like some fucking anime. Right? Then you'd just be a fucking loser. <laughs> it's fun to hate anime, even though I watch it almost religiously. Hmm. Speaking of, JoJo's Part 5? Hell yeah. It's really good animated so far. The dance scene we were all waiting for, uh was missing a few frames of animation in between, it was still good, but... You know, it's like, where... The actual dance was missing some frames. Uh, that, like, liquid television acid trip shit was... pretty good. So I think they did it justice. And what's the other one? Goblin Slayer, I started watching that. I, I just, I had to cave. Because I was so... Because, I mean, you guys have been hearing me talk about it for almost a year now. I'm just so fucking into, like, D&D, &D, Pathfinder, and shit. I've always been into them, but I actually have games now. Like, I'm playing Pathfinder on Sundays, and I play 5e on Saturdays. I DM 5e. And my Pathfinder game... Uh, it's funny, we're enjoying my DM's OC more than the Rune Lord's campaign <laughs> at this point. And so we've just been doing his OC for a couple months. And I think he's... I think he's burning out a little bit. Maybe not. Um, but he's... Apparently he's like one of those forever DM situations. Because I played with him before. And he wasn't DM. And then... Uh, I dropped out of that group for a couple years. And in that time, I think my friend was... He's the only gave me the webcam too. So, it's a pretty cool guy. Um, not because he gives me shit, right? He's he's a genuinely good person. But yeah, so... Uh, what you call it? So he... In that time, like that two-year time where I wasn't playing with him, he was still DMing and shit. 
and I don't want him to be like that forever DM thing, so... They want to play Out of the Abyss for 5e, and I said I'd DM that. So I'm trying to prepare it. Just gotta get them to commit. Yo, what's up? I'm King Jingling! King of all things Jinjo and ruler of this village. The kingdom seems a bit empty. It seems weird. My people were scared away by those witches. Their giant machine. I kind of like a like it quiet, but I need to get them all back for the kickball tournament next week. Doesn't seem that important to me. But it is. There's a big kickball rivalry between the Jinjos and the Moles. Which means there could be trouble if we don't turn up. Oh dear. Exactly. Anyway, here's an incentive for you to rescue my people. This is a D&D quest. Look at this shit. Payment up front. What is that? Is that like a mole rat? I believe you should go and see Master Cheeky Wiggy in this temple. Cheeky who? Cheeky Wiggy. He's the leader of a secret and ancient order dedicated to the mystical powers of the Crystal Jiggy. Ancient order? Crystal Jiggy? You just made that up, didn't you? No, honest, it's all true. He's very important to your adventure, as only the Crystal Jiggy can open the worlds that you must enter. Can you show us the way? The way? King Jingaling? It'll be my pleasure. No, okay. I was just there! I was just there. No, I'm not ready to leave. I'm, I'm exploring, bitch. Don't you do it. Don't take me out of the house. Don't you do it. You're gonna do it. You're doing it right now. You motherfucker. Not bad for a king, huh? Yeah, a strange pet thingy. It's cool. Let's go and find that Jimmy Wiggy, then. Oh my god, I I wanted to explore, dude. Meanwhile, I had a thought that I'm trying not to lose. I think I lost it. I actually do. As I said, it seems strange that I was gonna mention something. Yeah, I actually forgot. It is funny how apparently Bottles was this pillar of the community. <laughs> Come on, sisters, time I lack. What's the plan to get my body back? Annoying your rhyming is, so stop it or we will not tell. Oh. If I must. Oh. Bombs over Baghdad. This is a big old blaster built by Minji and me. Sucks out life force. Stored in big tank life forces. Shower Grunty will take and tank full. The new body you will have. An evil and heartless plan, I like it. How long will it take to suck up enough life force? Oh, I'm so sad she doesn't rhyme anymore. I'm actually sad. Not slim you are, so plenty will be needed. <laughs> so start blasting! Patient you must be. Target you first must pick. It's like a Yoda speech pattern. Mm. That curse of jingling has just given the furry fool a jiggy. I reckon we should blast the Jinjo King. Blow and suck. Auto targeting Bob has button. You only have to press. Oh suck. Oh yeah. <laughs> Warmed up, Bob is. So, begin will the firing sequence. Oh my god, please. That speech pattern's much harder than the rhyming. Target Bob is hit. Steal life force, he will. Unlucky Bob was. Bear we just missed. Oh wow. Ugh! Never mind him. What about that traitor jingling? I guess that's why I don't get to explore in there. 
Oh, he's a fucking zombo! Where's his mole rat? Ha ha ha! Oh, it's on the couch. He's just a zombie now. Successful Bobboys. Chingling's life force we have. Great then, girls. Let's blast the whole island. This we can do. What big charge up Bob will need. There's no period on the B on the machine. It pisses me off. Hours it will take. Revenge Bear will seek. I'm actually triggered because it's everywhere else. Ha! <laughs> that wouldn't worry. Banjo's not one got. Wait, no one to help him now that the mole and jingling are gone. He'll never be able to get us in time. Oh man, I literally just... What happened? I just left. Is he gonna fight me? This reminds me of the fucking king from, uh... Dark Souls 2. Oh shit. Oh, I can't hurt him. But he can hurt me. Run, Mole Rat! Mole Rat, please! I can't even... Ah! Invisible walls! This game sucks, bro! Okay. Gotta go! King Cole? You wanna tell me some more stuff, dude? The hidden lore. Oh man, we're almost out of time, aren't we? Shit. I also haven't done anything. I've just been... There's so much story and plot. Development. Uh, there's a mine there. Am I supposed to go to Gruntilda's fucking thing? I have no idea. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. We'll do that soon. And I need to make some breakfast. Actually, it's lunch at this point. Oh, let's see. Now I have to decide. Am I making another? Probably not. I want to, because it's more fun than fucking homework. But... I should just... Um... I just make lunch and then edit the first one so it's ready to go. I think that's what I should do. I am Jiggy Wiggy and this is my temple. If you want to see me, you'll need to get up past my doorman first. Okay. That can be arranged. Let's kill the monster. Give me the thing! Ah, oh, boy. What? I can't, like, handhold on there? What the fuck is this? Okay. There's some... some BS happening. I can't get over there. What the hell? Was it? Oh, I was talking about D&D. I'm always talking about D&D. Oh, I was gonna say, did I hit that? Yeah, they want to play Out of the Abyss in my Pathfinder game, because I want to give my DM a break. I'm not having... Because he has a couple character ideas he wants to do. And I started playing Magic the Gathering Arena. Because I like card games. And uh, I do like Magic, but I just... I didn't want to get into MTGO. And I saw MTGA. Which looked cool. You know, some of my favorite card game streamers are playing it. So I started watching it. And uh, I got into it. I only spent 10 bucks, Which is cool, because I... I still have some stuff. We'll do that in a sec. Like, I was able to make a couple decks that are competitive enough to uh, hit seven wins in the quick constructed event, the 500 gold one. So that's that's all that's all I really need right now. If I can get like seven wins in that, and then build a better, like slower control deck and stuff for like bow three, best of three. Uh, I'll do that. I'm also trying to save up because there's an expansion coming out in January. So I'm trying to save up my in-game stuff, like my in-game resources, in case... Uh... Do I have to choose? Of knowledge. It was written that I, Jiggy, is required to open this door. Yeah. We know. 
Yeah, there's supposed to be an expansion coming out at the end of January. And so I'm saving my resources for it. Um, I have a reason to bring this up. I'm a lowly disciple of Jiggy Wiggy. I work the door of his sacred temple to keep out those who are not worthy. Sounds like fun. Do you think we are worthy? That depends. You must collect images in the form of Jiggy Wiggy himself. Oh, come on. We know what they are. Yeah. Let's see what you have, then. Man, he's actually fucking big. Look how big his hands and shit are. Seems you've collected enough Jiggies. I have one. No cameras will be permitted and only food purchased. <laughs> The writing is still S tier in this game. And out of my time playing Jet Force Gemini, this is the one thing I'm saying is greatly missed. Because they had a little bit of writing at the start, and then just not after. Uh, 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 Fuck, I should have cut the video. Uh, 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 Greetings, O Chosen One. You've entered the sacred temple of Jiggy Wiggy. Approach the golden monolith if you wish to prove yourself worthy. Yeah, we're gonna do that next time. So. Yeah, the reason I was bringing up the uh, Magic the Gathering is because the druid, my or the DM's wife, uh, yeah, she plays a druid in our Pathfinder game, and she wanted to play a druid in 5e, but she's like, where's the necromancer druid or something like that? And I'm, you know, first we were kind of like, well, maybe you have to do a hybrid or something, maybe you have to multi-class, but then I was like, wait a minute, the Guilds of Ravnica book came out, which is, uh, you know, by Wizards of the Coast for 5e. Ravnica is the latest magic expansion, but they made a D&D 5e kind of campaign setting off it. And we were like, hey, I said this. I was like, hey, let's check that out. Maybe there's something in there, because the deck I like playing right now in Ravnica is Golgari, which is black, green, and it's kind of that theme, that, like, uh, life and death growth thing or whatever, so it's really fun. And... Sure enough, in the Ravnica book is a fucking option for Druid that's based on Golgari. And then, if you really want to go further, you can uh, have like a Golgari... You can have a guild background, so you can have like the other color combos in Magic and get uh, special, you know, extra spells and a little bit of character options and fleshing out and shit like that, so... It was really cool that she was like, hey, I want this, and I was like, hey, it's probably in that book. Hey, it is in that book. And I don't know if it's something she's going to want to play, because it's more of like a melee druid, like a damage druid. But I'm going to use it in one of my games as an enemy. I think it'd be a sick-ass villain. And it just it opened the door for all that. And I'm actually... Uh, I usually don't go too hard into campaign settings books. I just like to see like the, the class options and stuff that I can use. But the Ravnica book is something I'm actually slowly reading, because I want to potentially add stuff from it into my games. So I was happy about that. Ah, okay. You gotta stretch out. I need to I need to go and make some lunch and do some homework and do some some edits. And I'm kinda tired, so. Thank you for watching. Next time. Uh whatever's in the monolith. Yeah. So look forward to that. And I will see you later.